I don't actually do this for a living, so if there's makeup artists looking at this, don't judge me. The Sailor Moon ColourPop line has already been spotted inside Ulta stores. The street date is March 15th, but they're already out there, so go and get them. Sailor Moon ColourPop line. We're gonna go quick because you've probably seen the Jeffree Star video. Sailor Moon. So today, Mac is on camera duty, and you haven't met Mar, but Mar is gonna be doing my makeup. <sighs> Hello. Unofficial. Makeup artist. Welcome to this video. Hit the like button, people. This is an intro. Hello. And I'm not wearing makeup, but I will be. This is my friend Mar. Hi. Mar is here to help me because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm really just here to talk about how this relates to Sailor Moon, and Mar's gonna actually tell you if it's good or not. I'm a ColourPop fan, so for right now, it looks like pretty good quality stuff. I'm only upset about the similarities in the products, I feel like they could have been more diverse because Sailor Moon seems like such a fun show that they could have probably played around with the colors a bit, but that's just me. I think it'll be good though. I think we're gonna look good. Momentary commentary from Mackenzie incoming. As you guys can see, my eyebrows are on fleek currently. Hello. You might know Mackenzie from Normie Meets Anime, which is on the Super Tortilla channel. I'm back. <laughs> Have you seen this? This is really nice. This is the blush. This color is Cat's Eye. Cat's Eye was like a show from the 80s. Think kind of like Totally Spies, but Japanese. It's like, it's a cat. So, so it's we'll called call it Cat's Eye. Eye. Wow. And it probably is lazy, honestly. It gets hard to name things, I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, love that. It's cool, right? I love that. So this is episode one where Sailor Moon finds Luna and she has a little band-aid covering the little moon on her head. She don't like it. I like that. This is still holographic though. Yeah. I think you saw this oh, already. Oh, so pretty. I like that color. Oh, that one has the same bug. It's the same. Oh. It's a different color though. This it one's from the, moon. from the moon. Aside from the fact that Sailor Moon is from the moon, there's no like attack called from the moon. And like maybe I'm just being pedantic and like salty about it, but mm, I'm okay being salty about it. They probably should have called it like Luna, if that's yeah. the name of the cat. That's, this, this is more a traditional color looking Yeah, there's blush. no sparkle. That's more of a matte blush. Yeah. These have mirrors, by the way. Oh, oh. look, it's Mar! Say hi! Hi! hi. Do you want Great see angle. This? I will. Double chin oh, yeah. on fleek. I'm surprised you're not seeing more like blue. Dude, yes! I wanted blue, I wanted red, it's and not, I didn't it's see. It's a lot of pink, and I'm surprised because you know when you think of Sailor Moon, you think of that blue, white, the and uniform. red outfit. I took a sneak peek at the palette, and I don't even think that they have those colors in the palette. I think they were playing it safe. You know, not a lot of people will want to buy a palette that has like a dark blue or in a red. They do mascara? You know they should have done that dark blue mascara. Yes. Like her uniform. That would be sick. Let's go color pop, mm. you know? <laughs> at me. Run me my check. <laughs> Run me the check. This is probably the part that everybody wants to see oh, and everybody so wants pretty. to own. It says pressed powder palette. Someone on Instagram tipped me off that three of the colors are not eye safe. So specifically three of the colors because um, they have certain materials that I guess aren't FDA approved. I don't know if you can see it here. It says not intended for use in the immediate eye area. They do this so that if you do get like some type of rash that causes you to like go to the hospital or some crazy thing like that that you would intend to sue, what? they have a disclaimer so that you can't use it against them. I love this because I use this as, a, as like a meme all the time. Oh, I don't nice. even know what scene this is from, but I just love how she looks here. It's super cute. It goes like that and then it goes like that. I wish they would have put another scene. So it just would have been I like the other one. I think that's just anime in general. Compared to like the blush, how they had like such variation. Yeah. And then we're gonna open this puppy up. Ooh, ooh. I see what Mackenzie says. Like the colors are very pretty, I'm not gonna lie. But it looks like a spring palette to me. If it didn't have Sailor Moon on top of it or a Sailor Moon on no. packaging, you would I'd just have be like, it's stuff. Easter. I'm a little disappointed with the names. I know that you're kind of wondering, like, how do these relate to the show? Shining Moon, Twilight Flash, Silver Crystal. Um, they don't. One um, of them's called Full Moon. Just Full Moon. What I'm what getting from it is that maybe they're trying to copy, like, how her face looks. I'm surprised they didn't come out with like an eyeliner of sorts because I know she has like a like nice thick eyeliner line. They needed a lipstick and they needed an eyeliner. This is my microphone now. Okay. It's the worst. I think that they might plan to do each character. Instead of it being based on Sailor Moon, like the show or the superhero, it's going to be based on each character. Which is what I'm thinking as to why this eyeshadow palette looks That's the looks only the way thing that would make sense. What do you think about the box? 
I love the box actually. I love that it's like holographic. It's very fitting to the Sailor Moon brand. It's funny that you say that because to me, I almost look at this and I go, wow, they just slapped Sailor Moon on it and they make pink. I don't know about it being pink, but I just, uh, but it's very ColourPop-esque. So I think it's very to their brand. I think they were just trying to mix both of them together. But I like that they have like in the packaging. So if you look here, they have on all aspects something of the Sailor Moon collab. Moonlight Legend. And then this one's called Moon Prism Power. Do the names go correlate with So Moonlight Legend is kind of like, was it a song? And Moon Prism Power is what she says to transform in season one. Mm. So this is like more purpley and this is more pinky. Yeah. Why mm. couldn't they do like a collection, do like a red lip, like, like a blue eyeliner? There's other things they could have done. These are the lip colors and they're just kind of, oh, sorry. This is Moonlight and Daylight. This is a reference to the theme song where they're like fighting evil by moonlight, winning love by daylight. And they have her in her school uniform and in her transformation uniform. I thought that was creative. There's two colors in each of these that you could buy individually. Oh. And then the back has Luna kind of jumping. The names um, seem tailored to it. Yeah, so the names are Bunhead and Sailor Moon. Those actually have to do with the show. And then Usagi is her name and then Moon Tiara. Moon Tiara for a lip though. Her actual tiara on her head is gold. I'll show you right now. Oh, oh this girl. is Usagi. This is Usagi. Beige? It looks like peach. So that's, that's probably that they were trying to get to like close enough to her tiara, but obviously not like a gold yellow looks like, lip. Yeah, yeah it's gonna weird. look weird. This is ultra blotted lip. I don't know what that means. Um, oh, these look exactly the same. What? No, they're slightly different. <laughs> This is like a Kylie lip kit that's shit. You know when Kylie like puts out different colors but they're all the same? Yeah. Like look at this. I can see that this is like a slightly darker pink and this is like a slightly darker peach but it's like you could have tried harder. I don't even watch Sailor Moon. I think I've seen a few episodes when I was like but younger. But everybody knows about but it. But everybody knows about crazy. it. It's crazy. If you're gonna do something that is like that popular then you need to you know, do your research. I well, I'm gonna start putting foundation on her face. We're using Wet n Wild foundation. In it was seven dollars at CVS. In the color Buff Bisque. I really hope it matches. It looks a little tan. Buff beige, buff the buff beige. Yeah. I'm glad they made it because it kind of solidifies the fact that Sailor Moon is actually like really popular. Kind of makes other companies kind of go, oh, maybe we should make more Sailor Moon stuff. I gotta uh, think of what colors I should use. I wanna be fun with it. Fuck me up, fam. I'm gonna go in with Luna because I love it. Yeah. This is Luna. I'm gonna go in with that one first to go inside of her eye. I already can tell that this is gonna be good. Picks up a lot of color on the brush, wow. and I just dabbed it. it. Sticks onto your eyelid. Fuck! Wow. Okay. Yeah. It just it just sticks is onto your. Is this what eye. you call pigmented? Yes. Something's very pigmented. It just means that you little less is more. <laughs> Luna. It, this is the the cat, right? Yeah. Luna's the cat. But then you have something on there called Shining Moon. Shining Moon is the name of the restaurant in Tokyo for Sailor Moon. Mm -hmm. There's actually a color in there called Mare Serenatis, which is just Italian for the Sea of Serenity. Sailor Moon's not Italian. Italy has no fucking... Wow. I'm really salty about that one color in particular. Like, why? So I'm gonna go in with Miracle Romance, which is the other purpley color um, right here. It's the more matte one. I'm gonna do her crease with that, but then I'm also gonna go crazy and do some yellow on her too. Like we're gonna we're gonna be fun with this. Ooh, wow, this is very pigmented. What's happening? I wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. ColourPop as a brand doesn't disappoint. <laughs> I know I'm just, like staring <laughs> at your face. What's it called? The Miracle Romance. That one like falls onto the the face a mm. lot. So with that one, I'm gonna have to go back into her face when we're done. It blends really well. I'm very happy with that. Ooh. It's blending. Hello. Very well, very well. <laughs> well, Miracle Romance is a line in the theme song. Is there a lot of romance in Sailor Moon? Literally all of season one is about her like remembering her past life and how she was like in love with this dude and then they got torn apart and then they fell in love again in their new life, but not really. They don't really fall in love, which is kind of a problem with the show. It's like, oh, you're stupid. Oh, you're a bunhead, ah. Bunhead, like the name of the thing, right? Yeah. He dates her friend. In Sailor Moon. Excuse me. Yeah, so they I know. Boys in Sailor Moon too. I guess, but yeah, like, well, damn. He can't run anywhere. The problem I have with it is there's not the process of like getting to know you, falling in love with you. Oh, it's just it's like, more like, hey, we're in love. Bye. <laughs> pretty much. So I'm gonna go underneath with Justice. So it's like a very vibrant yellow. It's really called Justice. It's good, called Justice, and it's gonna look super cute. I think it kind of looks cute though. I think my favorite so far has been Luna. 
Luna had so much pigment, it just like, boom, in the eye, applied. The other ones have been falling and it's just kind of annoying because then I have to go back underneath her eye with, um. Put all the colors on me. You want me all the colors on you? I don't know if you can. That's like not going to be possible. Yeah, I think I'm going to do Silver Millennium in the inner corner. So Silver Millennium is like this. Silver Millennium. Millennium. I'm so sorry. No, I'm sorry. Where she like met the guy. In English, they named him Darian for the first dub. Darian? <laughs> That's like not know, even close. Where do you get Darian? To Mamaru. Yeah. Do you watch it in English or in Japanese? I. They dubbed it twice in English. Mm -hmm. So I like to compare the dubs. It's way better in Japanese. And you understand? Nope. Um, I think I'm gonna go into her uh, right here, the. What is it called, Mackenzie? My fat. No. I'm, I'm gonna do Silver fat. Crystal. Which is like a pink sparkly one, everybody. Silver crystal right Is here. it showing? <laughs> so the silver crystal, like, you can't even see it. <laughs> Sucks. Yeah, I don't like it. Let me tell you, the silver crystal in the show is the most powerful item in the universe. Yeah. So no. that's really disappointing. It's disappointing because it's very sparkly, but it, like, doesn't come out. I'm just literally going to go with love. They named a color love. That's so boo. <laughs> so that looks so much better. <laughs> than the, the silver crystal? Yeah, I just feel like it just, like... It looked like I just sprinkled you with glitter. It's getting quiet in here because it's serious, guys. It's serious. It's serious. Eyeliner is serious. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, it's on? Oh, okay. Smile. It's like in the school photos. I'm gonna get real up in your face now. Okay. <laughs> For this one. Okay. What? It looks actually really cool. You keep but... saying dramatic and I'm just like, that sounds like, hello. <laughs> hello this here. is fun. Do you like it? This is fun, yes. Oh, I love it. I just want to go out now. <laughs> Technical <laughs> difficulty. It's okay. So I'm going to do the blush and then I'll go into the eyebrows and the mascara. I just wanted to kind of see how to look on her face. We're using Cat's Eye, which is the one that's relevant to the show. Um, it's very loose. So the first, my first impression, it's very loose. I don't know if I like it because I don't, because I feel like that's just when it gets... Oh, sorry, that's not good? No, that's so I'm tapping good. it out because since it's very loose, I don't want it to be like, boom. And since we are doing an anime, we're gonna go on to blush on her nose. It's a Doja Cat. She had it on her Vogue thing and she does that. It's really pretty actually. Look at it, Mackenzie. Oh, this looks pretty. I'm like maneuvering <laughs> your head. <laughs> I like this one because it's very, like, it just, like what I said, I like blush like that just it, yeah. looks like you actually blushing. So now I'm gonna do your eyebrows. Brows? I used to never do my brows. brows. <laughs> How much can we say about your eyebrows on YouTube? <laughs> Because one of the reasons why I never filled the eyebrows is it's pretty. I actually grabbed this because I needed like chapstick or something. This is from Japan. This is how they do makeup. I love that. I expected that. If this, imagine if like it was on top of, like at least like the wand part was on top of the lipstick or I don't even or know. Or even if this was her like her little transformation brooch. I honestly don't think that they thought this was going to be successful at all. There's probably somebody in marketing who was just like, you know, maybe we should do this. Mm, okay, we'll make like a small batch of it. And then it sold out in 10 minutes, so. Some Maybelline pumped up. Pumped I picked up it because it jam. looked like a Sailor Moon yeah. wand. It's wand? Look at his wand. <laughs> now, we're gonna go, I, I personally wanna go in with this. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna do it like a highlighter. I, I'm not, it doesn't say anything about your face. It's too so late now. we're going in with, what is this? Moon Prism Power, which I, I really the only reason I chose this because you told me that the other one doesn't have anything to do with the show. Yeah. I mean, it has more to do with the show than Cat's Eye. Yeah, I like. You, I actually even like this color more. I actually love it. I want. I want this. <laughs> I think that's one of the things that sold out fast. That and the blushes. Oh my god! I love. <laughs> I'm gonna start seeing it right now when I start. Oh, Ella, she's here. Look at it. It's so cute. She's arrived. Look at it. Ooh. Is this don't your you love thing? this? Uh, yes. That's and you don't even have to use like a lot of it. Like I literally just it's like. like Lightly dab my finger in there and look how much is still left. Like you can literally this will last you for like ever. So I'm basing it off of the eyeshadows that I used. Um, I think that this is too pink. This one's more of like a purple. So even though they're very similar, they're literally like very similar, which is what my fight is with this. And Kylie Jenner fans don't come at me. And she like does the swatches on her arm. The colors are so similar. It's actually like uncanny. Usagi I think is not the one I'm gonna use on. Sailor Tortilla over here because I feel like it's too pink. Hello. I, I'm, this is Usagi and this is Bunhead. I like Bunhead better. 
They're very similar. It is Sailor Moon, and the one on the bottom is Moon Tiara. Sailor Moon, like, you could have gone with a red lip. Here is Usagi, then we have Bunhead, and then we have Sailor Moon, and then we have Moon Tiara. So, yeah. you can barely see Moon Tiara, but that's just because my skin tone is... They're all very peachy-like. But if I were just to like put one on, like just a gloss without putting like something on the bottom, I would have I would go in with with Sailor Moon. Oh, but so, see, so I you actually up. didn't like the daylight at all. You like the moonlight. So. Yeah, so I do like the moonlight. Mm -hmm. And then, but I but for her right now, I'm gonna mix it up. Number yeah, like the literally the same product number. <laughs> they're very pigmented because I just literally just did one swipe and they they don't come off. So I haven't had to scrub. No time. So I got it mostly off. So we're good. He's so good. Yeah, I actually don't want to put anything over it. It looks really nice. Sure? Oh, look, it dries matte. Oh, it feels dry. Shut up. OMG. Wh who would have thought? Not me. My score just changed. Okay, so I actually want to put the gloss over it now. Okay. So we're just going to put some, some of the... Um, it smells like chocolate. Really? Oh, it does kind of. It's sticky. <laughs> is it like matte, matte sticky? <laughs> That's a good test. I'm a fan. I think as a, as a makeup, I think I'm a fan. Most of the colors have looked pretty like pigmented and nice. And you, and you can see it on your lid, like they blended very well and everything like that. Um, I actually like, <laughs> I really like that it turned matte. I was gonna give it an eight out of 10. So I'm giving it an 8.5 now. So I wanna say quality, like a nine. I would give it, a, I would give it an eight. I would give it a it's six. It's just like kind of all over the place. They should have taken someone like Sailor Tortilla and been like, hey, what do you think we should do with this collaboration? So I can get maybe not having it to the extent of this because like, yeah, their brand, their actual money. brand doesn't yeah. like have that. Like their packaging is fitting for like the brand that they have. It's great makeup, like makeup wise. Like I feel like if you wanted to keep all this stuff and use it, do it. Um, in terms of feel, it feels fine. Um, I guess 10 out of 10. Packaging. It's fine. It's passable. It's in line with what they've released so far, like on t-shirts and on like the actual like Blu-ray boxes in America. I don't know. I just look at this and I think old lady makeup. They didn't go full force. No. Yeah, it could have been so much more fun. I don't know makeup. I don't know what I'm doing. Just make the whole damn thing holographic. It'd yeah. Nice. So I'm guessing your score to connection with the Sailor Moon brand is pretty low. It's like a five. It's like, it's not like, I don't look at this packaging and think this packaging is ugly. I think this packaging is really cute. Sailor Moon's associated with pink, but more like a hot pink. If we find out in five months that they're just going to do a collection for every different character, I would change my score. Yeah. If not, then it's just kind of like, what happened here? You can find me on YouTube and on Instagram as Marmagons. Gone. Marmagons. Oh, I just hit my elbow. Yeah. Okay, that name is Mackenzie underscore Simone. What do you guys think of this look? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let us know in the comments below. Please love it. <laughs> it's great. Please love it. If you don't, don't comment. Yes, we don't like hate. This is all about uplifting each other, people. Yeah. Be nice. In this society, just be nice. Mackenzie, do you want to just sit here and talk about your eyebrows real quick? Sure. So she basically behind this, though, there is minimal hair. <laughs> minimal. For all my bald brow beauties out there, you know? I use um, Brow Effect by Benefit. I think that's what it's called. Do your brows first before anything and then like go the whole shebang because you have to go in there like Picasso. Which is why I went back. Da Vinci. Because you gotta make sure man. that look matches your face. Cause this is gonna be like art right here. Yeah, that is artwork. Every, every day they look like this. Every the day. same consistency. I think that's, that's a good place to end. <laughs> I think it is too. <laughs> Look at her face. Beat. Beat. And we're zooming in. Sailor. Period. <laughs> Act normal. Look <laughs> at my man's got hella sneakers to sell. Hella sneakers to sell. Okay. Oh no, tide stick. <laughs> tide stick. I told you guys. Can't be tamed. Can't be tamed. Sponsored by Tide. I was like, hey, do you want to do a makeup video? I don't have any supplies. And then y'all said yes. Oh shit, I'm taking a video. Sorry, I fucked up. I'm gonna just suck in my spit real quick. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you got spit? Yeah, so I know. So boys in Sailor Moon too? Shut up. OMG.